Dozens of flyers like this one are popping up on the University of Idaho's campus. The school's president, Chuck Staben, says the slogan, It's Okay to Be White, is associated with white supremacists and neo-Nazi groups. A Florida Gulf Coast University student admitted to hanging these flyers on campus. They say, it's okay to be white. 19-year-old Griffin Baker Royo said he put up the signs to protest a new class on campus called White Racism. Well, Griffin Baker Royo is still awaiting tonight to hear if he'll be punished or not by the university for putting up those posters that read, It's okay to be white. He hasn't been criminally charged, but we do know that he's been referred to student affairs here at the university. Baker Royo says his posters were not meant to be racist, but many at FGCU say they were offended by his act, especially Dr. Ted Thornhill, who teaches the white racism class. He found one of the signs on his office door. I think it's kind and uh, unwanted. It's, it's a slogan that has been used by people like David Duke, you know, a former wizard of the Ku Klux Klan, and he often uses it. You could Google this. It takes less than five minutes to, to, find, to find out. You know, what I think people are protesting is the idea that adapting the messaging and the framing of people like this should never occur in our federal parliament. So the idea that somehow white people are experiencing a, a, a level of racism that deserve to be condemned and recognized at the national parliament diminishes the real experiences of other people that experience day-to-day -day racism. And then, you know, because Lauren Southern comes to Australia wearing a it's okay to be white shirt and people protested, 29 senators goes and vote on a notion that it's okay to be white? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Holding signs on this Vancouver overpass saying it's okay to be white. During this interview, the Rose City Antifa shows up. Not your racist. Oh, yeah, it's okay to be white. F you. It's at this point where the clashes begin. This is white. white bull At the very least, this thing, Ken, I saw the signs, it's concerning I mean, at, the, at the least. They're right? wondering why, you know, and, and exactly what was the intention in all of this. You know, the neighborhood seemed to have been tagged with handfuls of signs printed on paper. Those signs read, it's okay to be white. That's what was printed on them, but no one knows who put them up. Here's what it looked like along Waverly Lane in North Fort Worth early Thursday morning. Cell phone video and pictures taken of the area show the signs reading, It's okay to be white, posted onto lampposts and other pieces of public property. By the time we got there, all of the signs except for this one were gone, but it didn't stay up too much longer. Michael Bob is white and is old and you're going to get in this Clearly, Lois Burt, one of the neighbors here, is opposed to the message, one that some have deemed as being discriminatory. District 4 Councilman Kerry Moon isn't taking it lightly. I condemn any type of uh, literature uh, sign that uh, is posted uh, that may be offensive to some folks. All of this comes on the heels of a recent report sent to council members about anti-immigrant activity in other parts of the city involving, quote, the placement of defamatory banners and flyers on public property. There's just not a place for this in Fort Worth, and it's not indicative of the true force spirit. Well, the councilman said this kind of activity is considered a Class C misdemeanor, and those responsible could face a citation. He also said instead of ripping the signs down, neighbors should call police immediately and leave those signs up since they are considered to be evidence, and then just let the police investigate the situation. Montgomery Blair's principal believes this It's Okay to Be White poster could be part of a national campaign to create racial tension, and they believe this hooded person is behind it. All of us are equal. We showed a picture of the flyer to students. Really? Like, really those type of posters? In a school as diverse as Blair? School stats show 15% of the students are Asian, 24% are black, and the majority, 33%, are Hispanic. As a parent, yeah, it's, it's something that troubles me and troubles us. The principal sent parents a letter that says in part we will not fall victim to attempts to divide us. We're committed to providing a safe and welcoming environment for every student. I'm hoping that there's not a repeat, um, but I guess we'll see. Here's what's going on. Yesterday these flyers were posted to at least two different locations, the University of Maryland and Montgomery Blair High School in Silver Spring. While this did upset a University of Maryland student who tweeted the flyer with her own message, 
and being on social media, she got a flood of responses, but she says this also included death and rape threats. So now police resources are involved. Prince George's County Police Department, they're investigating. Montgomery County Police are aware of it. Well, Jeff Jennifer, good evening. I'm told those flyers have been showing up on streetlights, and they read, it's okay to be white. One neighbor here telling me that this part of town is a melting pot. She just wants everybody to feel safe. And on a lamppost there, it was just right smack in my eye line. Like, somebody had put it there intentionally, so I instantly ripped it down. Mary Elizabeth Summer couldn't believe it. This flyer found just down the street from her front door. She says it made her so upset she took it home and then ran it through the shredder. Others around Beaverton, Sexton Mountain spotting them too. My neighbor, Naomi, she also came across one today and sent me a picture of it. That flyer, it seems, is not unique to these streets. Far from it. The Sacramento Bee just earlier this month reports identical ones popping up around American River College. And in Florida, the Anti-Defamation League says a Target employee placed this card with that same message in a box of diapers there. What started as a prank on the online forum 4chan, now reported as being associated with white nationalism. I am married to a half-black woman, and this neighborhood is very culturally diverse. We have Indians, we have Jewish people, we have, you know, every color you can imagine. And if it were me, and I was coming up the street of my neighborhood, and I saw that... I would not feel safe. Tonight, the NAACP is calling on administrators at Florida Gulf Coast University to do something about a new sign posted on campus that says, it's okay to be white. Someone put up the posters a couple days ago. The FGCU vice president says they were taken down yesterday, but many students on campus feel removing the signs is just a band-aid on an issue affecting the university. Flyers with white supremacy sentiment going around, and now posters on the Cohen Center building that read, it's okay to be white. To spread more awareness at FGCU, the university is offering a class called White Racism, a discussion on race, immigration, and white supremacy in the post-Obama era. This afternoon, Tufts University investigating after signs reading, it's okay to be white, were put up on the campus quad. The signs were pasted on get out the vote lawn signs and a few cars nearby. Police say they received a report about the vandalism around 2 this morning. Some signs popping up in a Metro Vancouver neighborhood are catching some attention. On Thursday, a Twitter user in New Westminster posted a photo of something she spotted around this area of downtown on 8th Street. It was a sign and it read, it's okay to be white. Vanessa Wass now lives in the area and first noticed them while getting off the bus. And it just stopped me in my tracks. I was really horrified to see that. Um, so I ripped it down. First, I took a photo because I wanted to alert people to the fact that this is happening in my city. Then I tore it down and I kept walking. And then I was even more horrified to see that there was another poster and another one. It's really worrying to see tangible um, evidence of what I think a lot of people think only exist in online spheres. The signs have since been taken down. I did, however, manage to find one still crumpled up on the ground right next to where it had been posted. Vanessa says if she sees any more signs popping up in the street, she plans to take them down. In the meantime, the new West Police Department says they haven't received any complaints, but have opened an investigation. The flyers ripped down, but the message... I couldn't really believe it, still stapled to the minds of students at Bates College. It's not something that we're going to tolerate, whoever it's coming from. They read, it's okay to be white, many calling it white supremacy propaganda, fearing the message it not only sends to students, but the entire Lewiston community. Bates is working actively with the Lewiston Police Department to investigate where these flyers were posted, by whom, and with what intent. We condemn any attempt to incite hatred and bigotry based on race, as contrary to Bates' most deeply held values. Values echoed by students like Natasha Kaluzinski. They're not welcome here. Their views aren't welcome here. Their hate isn't welcome here. Signs saying it's okay to be white appearing on the campus of Florida Gulf Coast University in Estero. And this comes after last year when several racially charged messages were left around campus. Here's another look at the signs. They read, it's okay to be white. 
Some students turn to social media, tweeting about not being okay with the posts. In certain situations, I think it's best to keep like things like that to yourself and off campus. It's common to see flyers scattered around college campuses, but one message popping up at some UC schools is really turning heads and raising questions. The it's okay to be white flyers could be found all over the UC Davis campus, on sandwich boards, underneath bridges, and on garbage cans. Senior Aless Lee says the signs went up on cultural safety zones too. There was also one next to the Chicano Latino Resource Center as well. So they've been posted everywhere. The it's okay to be white message met with uncertainty. Are you insinuating that people of color are saying that it's bad to be white? Lee is on the UC Davis Black Leadership Council, which called a town hall meeting Friday to discuss the posters and racial tension on campus. Whoever's posting these photos, I don't think they're realizing how triggering these photos, these posters are for people. UC Davis Chancellor Gary May wrote an editorial in the California Aggie reading in part UC Davis has been and should continue to be a focus for wide open dialogue on an unlimited range of ideas including those that many find disturbing. Anonymous flyers, however, are not dialogue. Though not verbalized by a group or individual, these bold messages are loud and clear. Part of somewhat of a back-and-forth saga in East Grand Rapids. It's okay to be white, and white people don't be fooled. Now answered with, Nazi lives don't matter, and this poster standing against racism, sexism, and all forms of bigotry. I've lived in the area for like 18, 19 years, and it's the first... Thing that's kind of hit home that's so close. I mean, you hear about it on the news that it happens in other, you know, areas, maybe in Grand Rapids, but this is a little close. And the Public Safety Department says that it is continuing to investigate to figure out who's behind all of this. It's okay to be white sounds much more innocuous than what they're actually saying, which is it's okay to be pro-white power. An incorrect response would be something like this. The sentiment, it's okay to be white, is now a hate crime. Okay, so what's the correct position? That it's not okay to be white? Ah, uh, don't worry, you're already in the correct position, Tuck. Bending over backwards for white nationalists. <laughs> Yay! Tons of flyers like this one. <laughs> Unfucking real. <clears throat> Unfucking believable. <laughs>